Queen Elizabeth II had a strange and lonely childhood before Edward VIII's abdication meant she was heir to the throne, according to a royal documentary. The Queen welcomed her seventh great-grandchild Prince Louis into the world this year. Her Majesty also recently revealed a heartwarming picture of her and Prince Philip with their great-grandchildren, with Princess Charlotte seated on her knee. Her own upbringing, however, was markedly different from this warm and smiling picture. 2013 Netflix documentary The Royals delves into the young Princess Elizabeth's royal childhood. Attitudes towards children were beginning to change at the time but, within the palace, royal protocol was still strictly adhered to. She did have a strange childhood, says royal author Philip Dampier. Not strange by royal standards but by today's standard it was very very odd. The young Princess Elizabeth was homeschooled by a governess, in contrast to Princess Charlotte who started nursery school this year. I don't think it was unhappy but it was certainly very lonely, continues Dampier. She didn't really have any friends, because, she didn't go to school. The only people she really saw to play with were her cousins. Princess Elizabeth was quite lonely, agrees royal editor Ingrid Seward, until her sister Margaret Rose came along. Princess Margaret was born in 1930 when the Queen was four years old. However, the royal sisters were bound by tradition and could not make friends in the way others their age could. They didn't really play with other children. They made friends from their stuffed animals. She had her sister as her friend and she had her toy horses, says Seward. She adds, Princess Margaret remembers going in the park and seeing other children and thinking, oh how exciting their lives must be and we can't even talk to them. They had to specifically create a girl guides group so she, the Queen, could engage with people her own age, continues historian Ray Fred L. Mancou. He says that the Queen shows the signs of her royal childhood to this day. In many respects it accounts for her personality, he continues, her relative aloofness and reserved nature with those not in her family. However, the Queen's demeanor with her own great children comes as a marked contrast to her father George VI who, Dampier says, was uncomfortable with any great show of affection and would push the young princesses away if they hugged him.